Oh, boy. Well, it's a toxic chemical, and now the Food and Drug Administration is allowing it to be used in baby formula. Yeah, the FDA is setting a new safety threshold saying trace amounts of melamine can be used in baby milk after it originally said any amount is harmful to children. Well, some members of Congress are demanding a recall. Should parents be concerned and demand the same thing? Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel joins us live. Mark, what about this? Well, melamine. Well, let me tell you, Kelly, first of all, the biggest problem here is that this chemical, which is a white powder, is an industrial chemical that we use with formaldehyde to make kitchen products and cleaning agents. It has no business being in food products to begin with. Now, you might ask, what's it doing there? It's there because people are trying to fool inspectors to think that milk might have more protein in it than it really has. It jumps up the amount of protein that you think is in a milk. Item. So there's no purpose in it being there whatsoever. This is really, you know, illegal stuff to begin with. And we thought it was only in Asia, but the problem is that a lot of the products that you make in Asia end up in our own infant formula, and now we've, the FDA has discovered it in a couple of formula. Now, in order to set an amount, the problem with that is... How are you going to police that? They are right. only doing spot checks to begin with. So you can't, you know, you're sending the wrong message here. You say one part per million is safe. Well, it probably is. But, you know, you can't really f check every item to find out how much is in there. Mark, I, I remember my babies, and, and uh, we were always concerned about their safety. And you're looking at the, the video that we're showing there, a mother smiling at their child. Well, I remember the horrendous video of, of people in China, the mothers crying because there was no help for their children who had, had, this, who had ingested this melamine through their infant formula. Some 50,000 mothers in, back in September, you remember that video of people saying, help my, help my child, help my baby son or my baby daughter? And some of those infants actually dying. Mark, what's up with the FDA here? Are they calling it wrong? Well, look, Kelly, first of all, those infants, 50,000 of them, it's toxic to the kidney in a very high amount, and also if it's found with another chemical called cyanuric acid, which the FDA has found here. Now, the FDA is not calling it wrong in the sense that I want our viewers to know that if they're drinking, kids are drinking formula, there's a very, very, very high likelihood that they're safe. I don't want people to watch this and say we can't have formula, because you need formula. Many, many infants actually can only survive on formula. The FDA is calling it wrong here because the best way to set a standard is to say this product is not allowable in our formula, period, because it doesn't belong there. It's sending the wrong message saying a part per million is safe. Animal studies show that in very trace amounts it likely is safe. Mm -hmm. But we don't want this product in the formula. Let's get it out. Yeah, I mean, if it's contaminated, come on, let's get it out. We have other options, don't we? Well, the, the one option would be let's not use foodstuffs that come from Asia, you know, that, that are used in the process here. Let's say to our manufacturers, look, we know you're getting it cheaper over there. We're having a problem with our own economy here. So, look, if you can't regulate it to the point where you can't get it out of there, let's use milk products that come from the United States. That will work. Of course. Because melamine is not added here. It's got to be that it's coming from Asia, at least at some part in the process. People say, oh, well, maybe it rubs off on the equipment that's being used. Not so because it would be much lower even than a part per you, million. You know, you make a very valid point. Uh, what stays in China sometimes should actually stay there, what's made there. But what's made here in the USA, we have to follow a different standard. So why don't we rely on our own uh, manufacturers of formula? Absolutely, Kelly. You know, we send our inspectors over to China, but, you know, they really cannot regulate the manufacturing process over there. It's really, really ridiculous. Even when the product is first coming out, we don't get sufficient police, policing of it, especially now. We're not going to be be able to do it to that extent to where pirating doesn't go on we can do it here in the United States well I think a lot of parents are on notice especially uh, when they're just expecting and those who already have those beautiful infants they want to take care of them mark uh, Dr. Wait, before Siegel. Dr. Siegel yeah, goes, go what go. should we do if we're uh, ha we have a baby what should we buy it doesn't say melamine on the label does it well Jamie I want to add and I'm glad you brought that up by ending I want to say that I'm the, concerned the now. formula that you're drinking that you're getting from the store is absolutely safe this is more of a wake-up call for the FDA than it's a wake-up call for parents this is not going to happen in the amounts that we're talking about here but it's a wake-up call that the FDA needs to get some more teeth before right. we have a problem down the line. Do right. Dr. I like Siegel, that. I want an anti-melamine or no melamine included on my formula but container. I like what he says, though. FDA, get some more teeth. All right. Thank you so much, Dr.